All right. Trying this again. You tried it again. It's done. Yeah. Tried putting soapy water on it. Don't see nothing leaking. So you put more. Aired it back up. See if it will stay. Now he's got to drive it around. So, all right. Good morning, guys. Eight o'clock. Our RV repair guy was here. Is here now. Trying to work on our water valve. And. Pulling that booger apart underneath is a hassle. We want to go to the movie tonight. It's Friday. We're going getting out here to just chill. There's an old Elvis movie, GI Blues or something like that. That's at the Select Theater or Lake Country Playhouse. The oldest theater in Texas. We really enjoy it over there. It's only six bucks for the movie. Tuesdays are 50 cents, you know, when they have old, old movies. It's Friday, guys. And I thought, uh, Jen and I'd go see a movie this evening. So I thought, well, I'll set up our little fire pit here just in case it's a nice evening and we want to have a bonfire mm -hmm. afterwards. <laughs> I picked this up, set it over here, and look, I got a little friend that's goodness i don't like spiders can i see the belly yeah I suppose. no don't janet yeah. that's a black widow are you wait, kidding me wait, don't touch belly? that thing crazy he's cooking right now see the other side it's got red on the belly oh really yeah they all do out of the frying pan into the fire huh there's an egg sack wow The ones in Albuquerque about double that. Things size. we get to deal with out here. He's cooking. <laughs> He's in the sun. He's cooking. Don't be serving him to me. We're out and about. We're going to Ace Hardware trying to find. They have wallpaper paste supposedly. And we got to find some a a grease, grease gun. gun. Some grease. Yep, uh, twine for the Ryobi thingy, weed eater, weed eater and uh, a paint tray. We're just now opening up. This is Kitchens, established 1899. And it's the hardware store. Yeah, I'm in 530. Till nine tonight. We're gonna try it out, you guys. You guys, look at all this old stuff. This is the old hardware store. How cool. That's awesome. Now the bar is open till midnight which is over there, but look at all these old cases. Can you guys see this? They don't even have the lights on in here, but this is awesome. <laughs> this is like, oh my gosh. You got old nails in here. I you can't even see them. Oh my gosh. This is cool. There you go. That. Can't see nothing. I wish they turned the lights on. You can see. Wow. It's cool though. And it smells musky in here. Anyway. Guys. 
<laughs> That's funny. Wow. Some really super old stuff in here. That's cool. <laughs> this old fan. It works. I got the Monterey chi uh, chicken and can of grilled, two sides grilled asparagus and grilled tomatoes is what I got. You got the blue cheeseburger with rice? Yep. Thank you, Lord, for the food we are to receive tonight. We gotta eat fast because the movie starts in 10 minutes. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. I'm sitting in front of Cowburners, and they're already closed for the night. It's a little tap room barbecue place that we stop for beer sometimes. But the Lake Country Playhouse, or the old select theater, where we just saw a movie, Jab Blues. Uh oh, Elvis! Elvis. Uh, now we're gonna go cow tipping. No, they're close. Oh, no, cow, cow tipping. Oh, cow tipping. Yeah, you know you got to feel and push cows over. Oh yeah, that's all. No, I've never actually done that. Have you actually done that? Have you ever seen me get that close to a cow? No, you scared it there everything. You know. Yep. He's scared of horses. He's got four legs. I don't like it or ride it. He won't ride a horse. Man, it's been a long time. I remember having horses since I itty bitty. Saturday, guys. We had a nice evening last night. We we got to. Uh, See an old Elvis movie, actually one that I hadn't seen before, G.I. Blues, which uh, I would have sworn I'd seen it before, but nope, never seen it before. So we did that. We had a nice dinner, and I uh, don't know what we're gonna do today. Actually, I kind of do. We're gonna go to a meat market where we purchased a family sample pack about starting to buy our meat directly from a uh, meat market rather than a grocery store get a more natural product and then we're gonna check out a um, local I guess you'd call it like a thrift store that um, has booths where you can uh, rent your own space inside think about doing that Hey gang, it is Saturday, and we are parked in front of Steel Mill Farms Country Market, established in 2020. Serve Christ, feed animals, resist tyranny. Hmm. Anyhow, we bought a meat sample box from them. $150 for this big box of meat. They supply fresh meat and chicken and pork and pork and all of their their uh, meat has never been vaccinated or no hormones no mrna vaccine vaccinations no hormones grass-fed grass-fed natural beef all and local chicken from this area from this area so we know it's it is inspected though okay okay you can get a half a cow uh between 1800 and 2200 but they are all booked out to the mi middle of january mind you um for you know beef to be processed butchering yeah butchering and is uh inspected and cryovacked and you get whatever cuts you want like if you want the heart and the tongue and all that you know you can have it if you don't they'll they'll use it for 
something else, but um, we spent one hundred seventy-four dollars, not including some fresh ground dark coffee. roast coffee. Yeah, so awesome. And this is in Gilmer, Texas. We don't know much about them yet, but if the meat's good, I think we're going to get to know them pretty well. Yeah, they do have a website and um, steelmillsfarms.com and they do have some other items listed on there, but there's a lot more in their shop, you guys. This is downtown Gilmer on, on Tyler Street. You guys, we're home. This is the coffee. Dark roast, don't tread on me. He's going to do that. This is actually Hatch Cream Chili I got from the local Berkshires. I got mild and hot. A little bit of mild. And got a bunch of hot, so I thought they were hot. They're not real hot. It's hard to get Hatch Cream Chili. And the flavor is great. This is how the sampler box came. Janet, no, it's Janet, but let me show you what we got. Okay, let's get some of the dust off of here. Put it right back into the box and throw it down in the freezer. This is East Texas honey in a nice glass jar. The stopper. Ground beef. One pound package. Look how lean that is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ground pork sausage. Filet, which I might wrap in bacon. This sampler is a little bit of everything, okay? Pork chop. It's a half pound. Boneless chicken breast. Now they don't raise their own chickens. They said it was way too much of a mess, too much work. But this chicken breast, oh my gosh. Look at that. Huge. It looks like two of them, too. Chicken thighs. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You can even tell that the skin looks totally different. These are some drumsticks. And no, they're not going to be all clumped up with hormones or fluids or none of that. Ground pork. So you can tell the sausage has some color to it. Ground pork. If you make meatloaf, you like to mix it with pork. There's hot breakfast. Sausage. Ah, oh, look at that. That's like over a pound. I need more room. Okay. New York strip. Wow. Okay, here's a sirloin. Look how lean that looks. And there is some marbling, so it's going to be tender. Here's another sirloin. And a ribeye. That's a sample, you guys. So you got two sirloins, a ribeye, a New York strip. You got hot, hot. Breakfast sausage. You got ground pork. You got regular sausage. 
got two huge chicken breasts. They're skinless. Got chicken thighs that look delish. You want a coffee mug? Yeah. Mmm, I want to try that coffee. And that's like four legs. Um, beef, filet, and pork chop. And some honey. Okay. Let's set this down in the freezer. We don't even go to, um, fast food restaurants anymore. None of them. Not even Whataburger. No McDonald's. Even though he loves his, their, he loves their coffee and their Cokes. And I love their french fries, but no. I mean, even Wendy's or, you know, we don't go to them. No more. Mm -mm. All right, guys. Okay made the coffee it's a dark roast <sighs> now I used to work at a store that used to have all kinds of coffee probably 40 different kinds of coffee that used to give out samples okay I don't like french roast it's way too dark I don't like karma either. I'm a breakfast bland person. Okay. Light roast just isn't enough for me. It is a little sweeter. But do you know light roast actually has more caffeine? Because the roasting process you now takes away the caffeine. Now this is nice. It's like a Colombian. It's not real harsh. It's not real bitter. It's smooth. And I normally don't like dark roasted coffee. But you know what? This is awesome. Now what's your opinion, baby? I like it. You like it? I like it. He doesn't know much about coffee. He used to load it up with sugar and creamer. Now he's been drinking it just straight up. Nothing in it. Yeah. Howdy, we're here in Texas, and we're headed to Longview, Texas, yo, and we went to church, and we're going to go watch the Texas Rangers, and about, well, we'll be there early, so it's only going to be 101 today. So we thought we might spend our day eating onion rings, ranch dressing, and beer at, I guess, Bubba's. Because they have like 18 screens on one side, another 30 screens on the other side, and we know they have beer on tap. And air conditioning. AC is important right now. There's another Usa tires. <laughs> he goes, he, he says, this is, don't make me laugh. He says, Usa tires is a franchise out here between Big Sandy and Longview. <laughs> Must be a new company. <laughs> USED. Lucid, lucid, lucid tires. They're cheap. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> All right. We're going to be in the AC today. And actually, the RV does stay cool. For now. But I have the parts. We do have temporary AC in there we have two aces in there so the animals are fine we ended up at bj's you know why because we know they have beer because we passed it and i saw it and we know they have their own brews and they they do have good beer all right hey you guys 
This is unlimited all day. The game hasn't even started yet. I'm getting this. You get unlimited, unlimited soup also? I don't know. Oh, I know. That's going to be plenty for a while. I got the broccoli cheese soup and the salad in a bread bowl. Unlimited all day, 12 bucks. Broccoli cheese and a bread bowl. Salad with blue cheese all day, 12 bucks. Oh my goodness, that's good. This is the way it goes when you get old, folks. We get home and Janet goes to unbutton her seatbelt, and I hear, Oh my gosh, it hurts. What hurts, Janet? Everything hurts. Hurts, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> and here I am making fun of her feeling the same way. Sundays, guys. Look, you guys. You just got me a couch cover. Awesome. Looky. Nice couch cover so the cat and dog doesn't scratch it. Awesome. Got some new batteries for the GoPro because ours are starting to blow up. Yay. I got it cheap too with a nice charger. Pretty good. These, this is one of the old ones. And they're starting to blow up because of the heat is getting old. Won't hardly hold it charged. So, got a, three new batteries with a neat charger. Hey guys, it is Wednesday evening about 7 o'clock, 7.15. Just got back from a wallpaper job. Prepping a wallpaper job anyway. Getting tired. Not used to working hanging wall covering every day like I used to but uh, you know it's not the it's not the actual work that is making me tired it's the the prep the getting a job ready to be hung seems like you know when you do more remodel work when you're when you're working in new construction you're in homes that nobody lives in yet so you can get there eight nine in the morning and you work till eight nine at night if you want to i don't feel comfortable doing that in somebody's home where they live so we have been getting out on the job about eight nine in the morning and leaving at 4 35 in the afternoon and the first day we're just setting up and prepping not even hanging paper we're just you know doing the basics to get to the wallpaper so this is what it's turning my jobs that used to be one day jobs into two and three day jobs so neighbor waving high at us so anyhow just crazy nonsense like that I think about see that's Bella's the black one, babies, the brown one, they're starting to play. They came real close over here. I, I pet them when they're home. They live right there. But we can't let Sleepy loose. And she's going to keep wrapping herself shorter and shorter on this thing. See, we can't leave her loose because there's only barbed wire in the back. And uh, there's a bobcat, a cougar, and boar that hang out back there and go through there. Not easy. <laughs> you got yourself a big bottle. How funny. Finally, they get to play. 
They came real close. I went over there to kind of meet, greet them. And then Greg came out and put her on the leash. She was pulling him like crazy. And then they kind of got to know each other. So now they got playmates and she'll have something to do. I hope. But they they live there and they run loose. So and they like to poop in our yard and play on the dirt mound and she'll watch them out the window of the RV and go crazy. And they were getting the compost. Now that now they're not, so that's good. So maybe they can play from now on. That'd be great. They, they're not so scared to come over. That's wonderful. Hey gang, it is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Last day of the week. And yesterday, Jan and I went uh, to finish up the wallpaper job we were working on. Started. Little light, 